Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use OBS camera on Omi TV. Before we start, hurry up and check out our data self purchase under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we use OBS camera on Omi TV? Well, using it on Omi TV is actually pretty easy, but kind of still kind of complicated here because we need to do a few things here. So first things first is you need to install OBS in your PC. So in this case, go to your browser or any browser that I have, go to obsproject.com and from here, install OBS. Now, if you have it installed, go ahead and install it and you should get a exit file for it or that exit file. In this case, go ahead and run that and from then on, follow the steps for you to fully install it. But in this case, since I've already installed OBS here, let's go ahead and open it up. And from here, what we need to do is you first need to create your scenes sources for us to get prepared on sharing or start using OBS. So first things first is you need to create a scene. So you can name this any scene, like for example, scene one or scene two, whatever name you want to use here, just go ahead and create that. Now our scene will contain our sources. So sources actually contains the elements that you see on OBS. Like for example, I added a desktop or a screen projection here for my, as my source here, which in this case will actually show my current screen. Now, if you click on the plus button here, you should be able to add other sources like audio input capture, audio output capture, browser, color source, and a lot more. So in this case, you could choose whatever option here. So what I'm using right now is display capture. Now, once you've that added all the elements like your image or whatever you want to add here, what you need to do next is we now need to configure this so that it will actually work on Omi TV. So in this case, I'll be showing you two files here. So in this case, I'll show you the first file here and the second file. So in this case, uh, what you need to do is you need to actually copy the following code into a text file. So in this case, you can just go ahead and open up any notepad here. So I'll be showing you exactly what to do here. So you could go ahead and open up any notepad and from here, you can just go ahead and type in the following code, but we'll also try to include this code here in the actual description. So make sure to check our description down below. Now from here, once you've actually pasted the code, so this is going to be OBS cam one. So this is the first code here. So top left, go ahead and click on file from here, click on save as. And from here, you want to change the save, type, uh, save as type into all types. Now from here, just add the name of the file. So make sure to name this as OBS cam one. So it's really important. And you also need to add a file name here, which is going to be that rec. So this one is really important, the name as well as the file extension. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on save. Now, same thing for the other file. What you need to do is you also need to copy the following code here. Let me just open it up so that you'll be able to see it. And from here, you could go ahead and just copy this. And from here, paste it in another notepad here. Click on file. And from here, click on save as. And from here, you could go ahead and choose all files. And from here, make sure to name this as OBS cam 2reg So this one, again, it's really important to also add the dot reg at the very end. And just click on save. Now, once you've saved these two files in a specific file location, like for example, your desktop, what you need to do is you just need to go ahead and start running them. Now to run them, you could just go ahead and double click on the actual file, click on yes, click on yes again. And from here, it's going to say the key values to contain. So in this case, we are actually changing a few values on our registry on our PC so that OBS would actually work. Now, same thing for OBS cam 2, go ahead and run that. And once it's actually running, go ahead and click on yes and okay. Now from here, let's go ahead and open up any browser that we have right now. From here, go ahead and go to google.com and just type in Omi TV. Now in this case, it is recommended that you first go to Google and just type in Omi TV here because sometimes there are some issues. Now, if you see or if you have any browser or, or any tabs that are open here besides Google, go ahead and close that. So make sure Google that has Omi TV is the only one open here. Now, right click on Omi.tv here, click on open in new tab. And from here, just wait for a few seconds, like for example, 10 seconds to 60 seconds or one minute, which in this case, again, sometimes there are going to be some issues on Omni TV. So it is recommended to wait for a few minutes or a few seconds before opening it up. Now, in this case, go ahead and open up Omni TV here in the tab that we just opened. And from here at the top left, you should be able to see a pop-up that says allow access on Omni TV. 
which in this case, once you've done that, you should be able to now see the same thing that you're seeing right now on my screen. Now, by the way, a quick tip here is make sure to first disconnect any cameras that you have right now. Like for example, if you have a webcam, make sure to disconnect that or basically disable it on your uh, device manager. So typically you just need to go to your device manager to do this. So in this case, go ahead and go to your device manager, type in at the top bottom left device manager. And from here, look for any uh, cameras that you see. So for example, just to give you an idea. So for example, we have a, a section here for, let's just say this, for example, this is uh, this is just an example. You can go ahead and open up any of the following here, like webcam. If you see webcam here, right click on the actual device and from here, click on disable device here. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and repeat the process. Go to Omi TV and Google, open it up and wait for a few seconds and that should now, uh, or basically OBS will now start working. Now, in this case, if you really need your camera, go ahead and do the uh, first steps here, which in this case, disable your camera. And once OBS is now appearing here, you can go ahead and open, uh, go ahead and open up device manager again and enable your camera. So if you have your face uh, somehow on OBS, uh, this is how you actually do it. So yeah, first disable it, open up Omi TV here. And once Omi TV is connected here, you can go ahead and uh, enable your camera again. Because again, sometimes uh, it will not work properly. So it is suggested to uh, do the following. But yeah, so once you've done that, what you need to do is, as you can see, we only see the OBS logo here. Go back into OBS and from here, click on start virtual camera. Now, once you've done that, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up our browser. And as you can see, we now have our screen on Omi TV, which in this case, you could go ahead and do whatever you want here. So you could go ahead and add elements and whatnot. So yeah, so this is just a reminder, reminder to properly use uh, this trick that we just uh, are given you and not use it to go against Omi TV's uh, policies. But yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.